Hey guys, what's going on? Adam Snyder here with Home and Entrepreneur. So today we're gonna to be talking about making a passive income with print on demand. And there's two main print on demand uh, companies or sites that I use. First one is Merch by Amazon, love them. I've been using them for about a year, a little bit less than a year I think. Um, and they made me a lot of money. The, uh, the second one I use is Teespring. They are very good, okay? Their shirts are, their quality. Okay, which is very important, but I make more money with merch by Amazon. I'm not sure if it's just because the Amazon name um, Compared to Teespring or really what it is the traffic. I don't know the prices uh, that I have are pretty much the same so But what I want to explain to you guys is exactly kind of how I get the how I get more sales than most people that publish um, Shirts on either one of those sites I'm not saying I get more than everybody else, but the majority of people get you know very few sales per day per week per month and if that's fine with them that's perfectly fine with me i i don't care what they're doing i care about my business okay and so i don't wait for customers to come to me to buy a shirt or buy one of the shirts i designed i try to go get them i target them specifically target them now when you are doing any type of sales that's the world you want to target 100% of people in the world. Now, here is where my, so I'm not going to say my exact, um, you know, niche that I'm in and who I'm targeting. But what I will tell you is, I, I, I'm going to use yoga as an example. Okay. And this is very similar to my exact strategy. But what I'm doing, so that's the world. I cut the world in half. So there's, there's men over here, women over here, okay? I excluded all men. Why did I do that? The reason I did that, because my main, my the 100% marketing strategy that I use to target people is Instagram. That's all I use. Now you can use Reddit and Dig and Facebook and YouTube and all this other stuff, you know, paid advertising, whatever you wanna do. But I just use Instagram, that is it. The reason I just use Instagram is because I can specifically target certain people, women, okay? Now, we're gonna break that down to women who like yoga. Now, I'm just going off, I'm just cutting it in half. I don't know if 50% of women like yoga compared to 50 that don't, 50% that don't. I'm just saying, this is how you take the whole world and you cut it into and into little you know sections and you target a certain demographic. So women, yoga, okay. And now I'm gonna target women that like yoga, okay. They use Instagram, okay. So here we are. Now I'm gonna break that down even more. So maybe I'm gonna target women that like yoga, that use Instagram, but only in the US. So this is my market right here, okay? Women. Yoga, uh, Instagram, US. That's my market, okay? Why am I doing this? Why am I cut? Why am I getting rid of all the rest of the people? Why am I getting rid of men? Because men like yoga too. The reason because, the reason why I'm doing this, is because my designs are specific to women, okay? Now let's talk about that for a second. So. First off, when I say my designs, these are not technically my design. I didn't create these designs. I actually paid somebody else to create these designs for me. Okay. So what you need to keep in mind is I'm paying somebody to create designs for me. Being that I'm paying them, they're giving me designs. I have full rights to that specific design. So they'll make a design. Maybe it's a, maybe it's a yoga mat or something. I don't know. That's my yoga mat. Okay, I know, looks like a Tootsie Roll or something. Doesn't matter. So let's say, um, uh, let's say I love yoga. How many men are gonna wear a shirt that has a heart on it? Okay, maybe it's a pink heart, maybe it's a purple heart, I don't care. Doesn't matter. How many men are gonna wear that shirt? It's very small, okay? Not only that, from what I gather from my my sales history on Merch by Amazon and Teespring, shirts that are purchased by women actually sell for more than shirts that are purchased by men. 
or four men. Because of that, I can increase my price strategy, okay? Which helps me in my back end as far as advertising and marketing and doing all that stuff, okay? So let's say that's my, that's my design. I love yoga, um, uh, hot, hot yogas for me. Okay, I'm, I'm just throwing out different things. You know, like I said, this is not my exact niche. This is not my exact market. The market's fairly close, but I just want to let you know this is how I do it, okay? So enough with that. Now, everybody, okay, I'm not saying everybody, a lot of people can't create designs or pay somebody to create a design for them. What they can't do, and when I say they can't do it, most people just don't do it correctly. They don't use Instagram to their benefit. Now, I, I know for from per first hand experience, I don't use my my main Instagram account, stuff that you know you actually see in my face, all that stuff, the homemade entrepreneur Instagram account. I don't use that to my benefit exactly. I just use it to kind of get you know motivational quotes up, you know, images, things like that, you know, try to get people going. But with let's say the yoga niche, what I'm doing is I'm targeting different um, you know hashtags different people trying to get into different you know areas now what I do with Instagram so I recommend you post five times a day five times a day is when you're posting the times that you post just don't go back 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 or back anyway just do five times a day and spread it out a couple hours here and there and then put up another post the reason I recommend you do that is because you target different people. Different people are on Instagram at different times because of that. You want to get your posts up in front of them when they are there, when they're holding their phone. Sometimes they're not going to scroll through their feed to see you know, what you posted. Okay, not only that. I, I try to use between three and five hashtags inside the actual post that I'm doing. And then I use an additional um, 20 inside the the comment inside the comment box okay reason for that because instagram gives you 30. so by using three to five and then 20 you have anywhere between 23 and 25 so if somebody else puts a hashtag in there for you then you're not it's not going to push you over that 30. okay i like to do that next thing i do is i post engaging content some of the stuff isn't um, some of the stuff isn't like new obviously you know you want to post engaging content you want people to like what you're posting um, you know hit the like or hit the button you know and you know comment on it and do all that stuff hopefully you know by more people engaging you can get more you can get more likes and you get your post put up in front of more uh, people because it's going on to more hashtags it's climbing up and up and anyway there's there's a whole uh, strategy to it obviously now what most people don't do they don't have a link okay put your link in your bio okay put it in your bio because if you put the link in your bio I guarantee you, you can get more sales now what you do and why it goes back to especially merch by Amazon um, because that is my main one okay and I, I'll tell you right now I don't promote teespring that much because merch by amazon just sells better the conversions are just higher what i do is i send people to my store to my uh merch by amazon you know brand name or brand account whatever because all my shirts are listed in that account if i send them directly to one specific shirt that's where they're gonna that's where you're gonna limit your your sales is because you're specifically targeting, targeting, let's say you did this for 10 days, you got 50 posts up, all, every 50, or each one of those posts is a different shirt. What's going to happen is somebody's going to go click on the link and they're going to go to a shirt that they did not know was even there. Okay? That's not the shirt they wanted. So now they feel that you just screwed them because the shirt that you were talking about isn't even in there. Or they don't see it. It's because you need to send them to the main page that see so they can see all your shirts okay because if they do this and i've seen this happen multiple times is you don't get just one sale you maybe get one or two sales 
three sales, they're buying multiple shirts because they're different. They're all on that one topic that you were talking about, okay? They're all on yoga. They're all for women, okay? You, you, and the, the whole reason why we went through the trouble of narrowing down our market is because we want to target certain people that we know are going to buy, okay? So we targeted just women because the shirts that we're selling are just for women. We're designing them specifically for women, okay? We can do the same thing for men as well, but we'd want to open up a different Instagram account. We'd want to target different people because when you go and target certain people, like we went back when we talked about in the very beginning, when you target those certain individuals, as far as engaging content, for me as a male, I don't know exactly what women like, okay? That is where I use my sister-in-law. I use or multiple sister-in-laws. I use my mom, I use cousins, I use my wife, okay? I use all them because they understand what women like. Have multiple friends that love yoga. A couple that actually own a yoga studio or salon or I think it's studio, anyway. Um, or yoga gym or whatever you call it, I don't know. But they own one. So I would use them, okay? So just keep in mind, if you narrow down your market, you will get better, you'll get more sales because you can specifically target that exact market. Don't go for the why, the broad, oh, I gotta, you know, you know, sell this product or create something because that's the mass market. Don't do that because on Instagram, how are you gonna target the mass market? How are you gonna get people to like your Instagram page, like every single post, comment on stuff, you know, share that, okay? Do your giveaways, you know, enter into your you know your promotional stuff whatever if you're targeting fitness people you're targeting gamers you're targeting you know business owners you know yoga people um you know people that love coffee and tea you're targeting gardeners if you're doing all this stuff to try to get every single one of your shirts you know up and ex you know get some exposure to it you're gonna lose that's what the majority of people do that's exactly what i did i created a a brand name page and I had shirts on so many different things like I just named off I had shirts on all that stuff and I had shirts on the presidential election I had shirts on um, soccer and football and baseball and I had it on swimming and you know the Olympics and all this stuff what happened is a lot of those shirts didn't sell because I was promoting them to people that didn't care okay so that's what I want you to understand from this video is that you don't have to sell the the best design t-shirt, the, the cheapest t-shirt, okay? You don't have to do that. If you want to make money with print on demand, especially with merch by Amazon. Now, like I said, I, I sell on Teespring. I don't do a lot of promotion with Teespring. Do it a little bit. I will switch out that link every once in a while to try to get people over to Teespring as well. But the conversions are higher on Amazon with merch by Amazon. So that's why I do it. Okay, so if you guys have any questions, let me know but in the comment section below. But what I want you to understand is that this strategy right here, this right here, you can do all this in very short amount of time per day or you can hire it out and the whole business will be automated for you. So it's very passive. So if you have questions on passive income or making money with print on demand, let me know in the comment section below. Hit the thumbs up button and I'll talk to you guys soon.